All right, well, in this lab, um, we had to analyze the Skittles dye to see if it was a pure substance or a mixture. Well, clearly here we see that the dye that was originally placed right here on the chromatography paper um, was a mixture. And we can see this because there's clearly two different dyes that have migrated on the paper. And we can outline each dye roughly. Using a pencil. So then the next task after we've identified that it's a mixture, the next next task is to calculate the RF value and sometimes called the retardation factor. And so <clears throat> our solvent was ammonia and the ammonia pulled up the dye on the strip of chromatography paper. So we measure from the line, the, the line where it's all where the the dye started from, and to where the dye ended, and so the solvent, uh, not the dye, but the solvent, um, the solvent um, distance is in this case thirteen. 0.8 centimeters and then we look at the distance that each uh, component color travel so there's a red component that traveled to about 6.1 centimeters and the orange component Uh, to about 11.6 centimeters. So then we can calculate the ratio of front um, for the red color, which is the distance that the red component traveled, 6.1 centimeters, divided by the distance that the solvent traveled, which is 13.8 centimeters. And so when we do this, we get a, an RF of 0 0.44. We can calculate the RF for the orange color, which is the distance traveled by the orange component. So we have 11.6 centimeters divided by the distance traveled by the solvent which is 13.8 for 0 0.84. So now that we've identified that the Skittles dye was a mixture, the next part of the lab was to see if it corresponds to one of the given food dyes. And we have For the red, um, red number three as a possible candidate for that. And for the orange, uh, well, there's no orange color in the given list. We could assume that maybe it's a shade of yellow. Um, and really, 84 is not near the yellow number six or the yellow number five. So this is. Um, not not a given um, choice of food coloring. So we can calculate how far we off we are off uh, the red number three by calculating our percent error. And uh, to do that, we're going to use the expected value, assuming that it is red number three, we would have expected a value of... 0 0.41 uh, as given on on the sheet here so uh, for red number three 0 0.41 that would be the expected value what we did um, our value is 0 0.44 and we divide this by the accepted value or expected value of 0 0.41 and then we're going to multiply this by uh, 100 
to get a percentage um, in a percent form. So we have um, point uh, 41 uh, minus point 44, and this is divided by point 41. So that gives us a negative 7.3 percent error. The negative sign simply means that we're below the accepted value, so uh, it's not really um, required in the answer. It just means that we're below the accepted value. So we have to decide if 7.3 percent um, is a, is an acceptable error, and if you decide that it is, then you can say that the red was in fact red number three, but that the orange is not known. Great.